The frame is going to arrive here any minute now. We'll go through all the different measurements, make sure it didn't get damaged during shipping. And then uh, one of the first things we'll do is we'll mount the vertical thrusters on it, make sure they mount properly, and then put the foam on top. Most items on the vehicle can be massaged into place so we can tweak it here and there. But the, the relationship between the foam and the frame is really what drives the whole vehicle design. As long as those two pieces meet and everything works out, we should be good to start assembling this thing full speed. It's a bare frame this afternoon. Quite a big structure, um, but it's got a, an important part to do because it houses all of our components to the structure that will support the form and all of those instruments. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, boys and girls. So look like the pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Looks sweet. We'll pull the frame out, make sure there's no damage to the frame through transit. Then we'll position the frame so that we can place the form onto it, make sure that the form fits. The frame of the vehicle is completely custom. There isn't a lot of science ROVs out there, and even those other science ROVs have been more evolved from other vehicles. So we had the opportunity to kind of start from scratch and do something a little bit different. Okay, just crawl forward. I'll be looking for center. If you can look it down the center. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I, I tried to maximize its space while keeping the, the weight down. That will uh, increase its capacity as far as lifting uh, science gear. Um, so that's really what my goal was, is to utilize as much of the, the weight constraint of the fall car. You're hoping you didn't make a mistake. You've, you've checked everything. You've uh, got other people to check them. But until you've kind of seen it on the floor and checked it out, you're never 100%. There's eight through holes in the foam and in the frame that we drive rods through. It clamps the foam to the frame, as well as it's used for the lifting structure. Now we've finally put those two pieces together and just double checking that all the holes in one made up with the other one, and uh, they all worked out perfectly, so we're pretty happy about that. It's exciting, it's exhilarating just to see it come together and make sure it's what I've been thinking about in my head for the last six months, um, and to see it come and look like I was planning on it, so it's good.